watching you, but people are watching you. Anyone who's been here 
over 50 years, you know this is a different Bahamas. This ain't a Bahamas what where Beth is. Beth, yeah, you. Beth. This ain't a Bahamas home or left. And the reason for that is that we open ourselves up to all kinds of culture. All kinds of people coming in here every day and they're bringing their gods with them. That's why, Pastor Tim, we who know God must stand up and let them know the true God. No matter whatever God you bring in this Bahamadan, we know the true God.
Mimi, I hear your prayer. I listen to your prayer. And I could tell as soon as she started praying, when they asked me who she is, I said, that's all my daughter. She, she did that with Zell's daughter. I said, no, I know Zell's daughter. That's all my daughter. <coughs> See, when something is practiced in a home, it ain't hard for that to come up. They tell me practice big with it. Hello? I can tell any one of better make up children. I know them. They even ain't gotta open them up.
Shoot Dion, this is Sam. But he ain't no doubt. My wife is on like that when you do that. You just open up, leave the scripture with them and say, listen, your time to read, your time now to expound to us what that scripture is. Yeah, it's all good to you. And therefore you will find out he, as he read, he can see himself in the word. And therefore, I ain't got to beat him. The word beat you. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm saying, we as parents, we got to understand that, listen, you may be talking to this child all the time. And then, you, know, you don't have to beat up your mother. All the neighborhood hear you. I'm just giving them the word. That's what the word is there for. It's for reproof. And for correction. And that's what it says. That's what it says. And so therefore, when you when you know the word and you give the children the word, they did daddy didn't say nothing, mommy didn't say nothing, but it's God talking to him. So the thing is for a couple of weeks when we were at that time, they went down enough. Fathers, ease up. I think I ease up in the same of those children. Because sometimes we fathers make them rebellious. The way we handle them. I don't know if you all know anything about feeding all. I was like, I can leave it down, I can make a bread in the morning to wash it. You get corn and you chewing up the corn. You chewing the corn. When you let go, you know. But you run in him. Because you, he think you beat him. That's the same ball with legs that will not come, but you would think that he ain't a bit, he ain't a bit. He's still inside that bag. He's still inside that bag. So and then you wake up in the morning, then there is no. So I'm saying to us, let's be gentle with our children. We want to change this nation. We want to change the Bahamas. We want to change. We got to start with us fathers. Start with us fathers in the womb. Don't be watering. And fathers, you can't be. Can't lick in your fridge. It is when a child can gain the self-confidence he needs to successfully deal with an unfriendly world. Since God is love, every day and everywhere we go, we should reflect God. Hello? It should not be hard for people to see God in us. Amen. The key to teaching your children to love God is stated simply and clearly in my text. If you want your children to follow God, you must teach your children to see God in all aspects of life, not just those that are church related. Hello? But could I tell you the best future is yourself? Hello? The best future is yourself.
show you best, your wife and the same child waiting. They come out your house. And sometimes they won't live like we all at that when we don't come out the house and you do just yeah, that. You don't know, carry on all of that and on, break up the <laughs> living <day. laughs> <laughs> You want. You understand what I 